In early April of 2019, the body was found in Gibbons Park. His death was one of almost three dozen murders that took place in Austin that year. It was also among those where an arrest was made. I don't think there's a, a magic or, or dumb luck. I think that decades ago when the Austin Police Department Homicide Unit started seeing an increase in numbers, they were able to figure out the right way to investigate the murders that happened. Lieutenant Jeff Greenwalt heads up APD's Homicide Unit. From this office in the downtown headquarters, a team of 12 detectives work through leads. The unit includes two sergeants, a crime analyst, a victim services advocate, and an administrative aide. And we're very functional and very efficient as a team. The, the folks up there are extraordinary at what they do, and a lot of the people who work in the homicide unit have been there for many, many years. The staffing level hasn't changed much in more than a decade, and neither has the way cases are handled. In the first few hours of each call out, the unit puts on a full court press. Greenwalt calls it a strategy of saturation, which typically involves patrol units. There's also one other critical factor in play. We rely very heavily on the community. Uh, whether it's just a, a witness who didn't even know the people who were involved or if it's family or friends or neighbors, the community um, plays a, a big role in solving these murders. That teamwork seems to be working based on the latest uniform crime report. In 2017, there were 25 murders with 17 of the cases closed with arrest. 2018 and 2019 both saw an increase in the number of murders. Each year had 32 cases with 25 arrests. The rate of closure, Greenwalt believes, prevents burnout. We work in such a unique unit that the cases themselves are what rejuvenates the detectives when they're able to provide answers to the family of the deceased or, or let the, the family of the deceased know that arrest has been made or that justice was served. That in itself is what sends us back to work, uh, ready to go to the next one. I will light you up. Recent cases of excessive force by law enforcement have sparked protest and have raised questions regarding trust. But these incidents, according to Greenwalt, have yet to undermine their work. Um, what you see on the national news and sometimes the local news about the problems that have been having um, is important, and I'm not, I'm not downplaying those. Um, those opinions that people have, but when it comes time to help solve crime, we have a tremendous amount of support that comes from the community. A study by the FBI determined that homicide detectives who have an open caseload of five or less each year have a higher rate of success. The goal for the Austin Police Department Homicide Unit is to have detectives with a caseload of one to five open cases each year. I'm Rudy Kosky, Fox 7 Austin News.